Good evening. Tonight we will be discussing John Thomas Scopes. Scopes was a public school teacher in Dayton, Tennessee in the 1920s. Scopes would become notorious for having taught the theory of human evolution to his students. The theory of evolution as established by Charles Darwin states or has us to believe that as humans we have evolved from apes and monkeys. While that doesn't seem like such a radical thing now, it was at the time because Tennessee had just passed the Butler Act, which prohibited the teaching of human evolution in public schools. It would go on to court, so Scopes would be charged on May 5th, 1925 for teaching evolution in his classroom. And he would go into court uh, being charged with violating the Butler Act and Clarence Darrow would be the person who would defend uh, Scopes in that trial and establish that the teaching of evolution and he would bring in state's attorneys that would say this, that the Tennessee the state of Tennessee and their judicial board do not recognize that the teaching of evolution is against the law. So while it was against the Butler Act, there was a lot of controversy as to whether or not Scopes should be charged, should be jailed, should be let go for teaching evolution to his students. For the prosecution, we would see three-time presidential candidate William Jennings Bryan stand in for the prosecution, and he was notoriously anti-evolution and deeply religious. So having Bryan against Darrow was like butting heads. There would be two states' attorneys fighting each other, one for evolution and one for against evolution and therefore coming to a head it was decided that john thomas scopes was guilty of teaching evolution but it wasn't worth jailing him over and eventually uh scopes would be found guilty charged and find a hundred dollars, which at the time that was a lot of money, but he would be set free. And then the this fight over religion versus evolution would continue even until today. There are many denominations of Christian that do not believe in the theory of evolution because the Bible tells us that we are made in God's image and likeness. Thank you.